you're going to have to work pretty hard to get any farther out to the end of the Earth than this. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and remember the restaurant at the end of the universe? Well, this is the town at the end of the, at the, end of the Earth, isn't it? <laughs> we have arrived at the small town of Darshan, which lies at about 15,000 feet above sea level in far western Tibet. Darshan is a gateway for a major destination for this entire trip. Darshan is the gateway to Mount Kailash that you can see just over my left shoulder. I'd never seen a yak before. It looked like a cow in a heavy metal band. But these surprisingly clumsy creatures were going to carry all our equipment on the difficult three-day hike around Kailash. In Tibet, such journeys of enlightenment around their holy places are called koras. And a pilgrimage consists of a circumambulation of the mountain of about 52 kilometers. We start at Darshan and work our way around the mountain. And as I said, Darshan is about at 15,000 feet. Ultimately, one needs to climb up to about 18,500 feet before once again descending back to Darshan. I'd never heard Tibetan spoken before, but it was all new to me, except for the hiking and shooting part. But even they were going to be among this whole new mountain of challenges. Okay, we're finally underway. <laughs> Only took seven days to get here, right? Yes, it was seven days. It's ought to sound like a Star Wars movie, Ken. All this breathing. <laughs> Darth Vader. Why is it so much colder up here than down in Darshan? It's almost yes, the same yeah. altitude, right? Yeah. Because it's the valley here. The wind, uh, too cold. wind is cold. Our guide is Norbu. Well, not so, just our guide. And where does it go, finally? It says north, right? It's going, yeah. It's going He's to also our interpreter, starts, bodyguard, yeah, and one, spiritual advisor. Time. The Buddhist religion is thinking for the all human being. It's not evil for this uh, by them side. We just try to, you know, re realize from all these humans from the suffering. Also, they hope bring the peace in the world. So this is the main of, you know, subject from the Buddhism religions here. Taking by story of the history of the Buddhism, it's 1,300 yeah, years ago. Yeah, Buddhism is kind of a newcomer. Yeah. yeah. Unlike most Tibetans, Norbu is a modern businessman, familiar with the widely varying comfort levels of visitors from every continent. He seems to know every rock on this vast plateau, its history and its hazards. This will be the gold paradise of the Dam Chok. His perception of his homeland has changed as Tibet is modernized. You know, it's the Tibetan, like a national park, of the, one of the biggest national park in the world. So you can, those way, you can see there's a different wild animals there, like a wild donkey, black neck of cream, and mountains, and lakes. They'd be very beautiful up there, snow mountain, peak of mountains. So that's where there is more and more people to interest to come here and uh, to check those, you know, the cultures, histories about the religions from this area. 